Hello and welcome to another pen video for me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here another pen for review, and this is a pen from uh, a custom pen maker called Chris at Butterknife Creations. So uh, I've had Derek at Stone Cot Fine Writing Supplies, who is stocking these in the UK. Uh, he actually sent this one in for review, so I'd like to thank Derek at Stone Cot Fine writing supplies for sending this in uh, i think let's take a look so this doesn't come in a box it comes in this really lovely inky sort of leather pouch which i really do like the look of uh, i think this is a great way of sending custom pens to uh, prospective buyers of those pens and this is a really really good idea and i have to say that this pen smells of leather because it's been sat in this for a period of time so i think let me unbox this so you do see a little bit of the pen peeking out there and then you see this beautiful beautiful pen that chris at butterknife creations has created now if you don't know chris is uh in london ontario in canada and uh, this is uh, one of his models called the Bumpy Chameleon. And I have to say, I do like the shape and size of this model a lot. Uh, I, I like that it does sort of taper down a little bit here to uh, where the cap joins. Uh, and I really, really have to say, I am impressed with this, this uh, material. This is a diamond cast material from uh, Mackenzie uh, Penworks. So I think let's go through the details of this pen. So this is the uh, Butterknife Creations Bumpy Chameleon. Uh, I think if we look at the cap finial there, you'll see that it is a sort of conical rounded off uh, end there. Um, and likewise on the what would be the end cap, the other end of the pen, now, in terms of the pen shape itself, uh, I would say it tapers out slightly here to the middle of the cap, and then it tapers right in to where the cap joins the body, and then it tapers out to about here, and then tapers all the way into the end cap. Now, this pen doesn't come with any clips, and that doesn't bother me, because I have quite a few pens without any clips, and... Uh, I re that really doesn't bother me at all. And honestly, um, if you if it does bother you and you are taking pens with you, say to work or to school or to university, and you don't want them rolling off your desk, let me show you this. This is a pen wrap, and once you have pens inside this, that will stop it rolling around on your desk. Uh, this is a uh, pen wrap from uh, Goulet Pens. It's actually made by Rickshaw Bagworks and that works really well for me. So I don't have any issue with uh, not having pen clips on pens. Uh, for me though, I, this is a really nice pen. If I unscrew the cap there, you'll see uh, this one comes with a number six size. It's a Bok steel nib and this is a broad nib here. And uh, I have to say, I do like the broad nibs. Now, if I unscrew the body here, this is a cartridge converter and it just has a standard international converter there. Uh, but this is a really nice made pen and I do like the material in this pen. Now, in the size of my hand, I find that this is very, very comfortable. Anybody that doesn't like short sections on pens, you will love this pen because this actually has a longer section. It is a little bit on the thinner side uh, to sections that I personally would like. However, it is a slight concave there so that you can actually uh, rest your fingers in here and they won't slip out onto the nib. I also find this bit of bulbous here on the pen uh, quite uh, comfortable in my hand as well. Now, can I post the caps? No, it's not designed to do so. Uh, but again, that doesn't bother me in any way because this is, for me, a very, very comfortable pen. 
if I wanted to hold it up a little bit higher, I could. It is a little bit thicker here, so you could hold it up on the threads. The threads are very, very shallow. Um, it's not uh, cutting into my fingers whatsoever when I rub my finger over them. It's very, very smooth, uh, and, and that for me is really nice. Now, this material is beautiful, and this is called the Oil Slick. Uh, and this is a really beautiful rainbow color and you can see here the the diamond dust in that body and yes it is real diamond dust uh, these do normally come with a certification that they are for Mackenzie Penworks uh, but this really is a beautiful beautiful material and I have to say this if if, if there was a butter knife pen that I really really wanted to pick up it would have to be this model because this is a really beautiful, colourful pen. Now, I know this, this colour is not necessarily for everyone, but uh, for me, I like bright colours. I like a mix of colours. And for me, this is a really, really beautiful colour. So I think with that, let's do a size check. We'll do a weight check. We'll do a pen comparison. And then we'll do a writing sample. So the length of the pen, the full length, we are looking at 145 millimeters in length. The length of the cap is about 65 millimeters in length. And then we'll check the body just to see. So to the tip of the nib, we are looking at about 130, I want to say 138 millimeters. It's actually pretty much there. So that's actually quite a long pen. And you can see there uh, in the size of my hand, that is actually quite a long pen. So for me, uh, this pen actually rests quite nicely in my hand. I think we'll do a weight check. So the full weight of the pen, and this is uninked, we are looking at, I'm going to try and stop it rolling, about 26, just over 26 grams in weight. The weight of the cap, we are looking at just under 9 grams, and the weight of the body, we are looking at just under 17 and a half grams. So that is actually a nice weight pen and I think most people will find that quite nice to be able to write with. So I think with that let's go and do a comparison with other pens. So from left to right we have a London pen company, the Christopher in Caramel Aranoid. We have a London pen company, the Christopher 15 in Primary Manipulation 1. We have an Atelier Lusso Carina in Black Ice Aluminite. We have a Atelier Lusso Carina, and this is in the Diamond Nebula. We have a Pelican M800, and this is the Grand Plus. We have a Butterknife Creations, and this is a Bumpy Chameleon in Diamond Cast Oil Slick. We have a Edison Pen Company Collier in Antique Marble. We have a John Twist Volcano. We have an Atelier Lusso Andromeda in the King Cobra. We have an Atelier Lusso Andromeda in the Dragon. So I think let's go and do a writing sample. So this is the butter knife creations. And it is the Bumpy Chameleon. And uh, it is a broad, it's a steel nib, uh, but it's a Bok nib. And the material in here, I'll put this on here as well, it's the uh, Mackenzie. And it's diamond cast. And it's oil slick. 
Now, the ink in here is uh, Papier Plume. And it is Forget Me Not Blue. Now, in terms of line variation, let's take a look at this. You can see here, this is a standard line variation. And if I push it a little bit more, you can get some more line variation out of it. And you can see here the figure of eight. There are no hard starts or skips. In terms of ink, uh, let's see the wetness here. So we'll do this. You can see that that's quite a wet nib. It is a broad nib, so I do actually expect it to be quite wet. But you can see there that that is a very nice writing nib and a nice writing pen. So what do I like and what do I not like about this pen? Well, simply, I do like the shape. It's, it's an interesting shape. It's got some little bit of bulbous sort of areas in here. It tapers in towards the cap. It's not a seamless cap, but I think it tapers in quite well. Um, I do like the length of the pen. I like uh, the si overall size. I like the weight. Uh, I like it's a cartridge converter. I am more partial to Bok nibs over Yovo nibs. I find that they write a little bit more wetter. And uh, certainly the mediums and the broads do. Uh, I like that this is a Bok, has a Bok nib on it and not a Yovo nib. Uh, a lot of custom pen makers are going the Yovo route because it's uh, cheaper and uh, more accessible. But I do like that this has a Bok steel nib on it. So for me, this is actually a, a really, really good uh, combination here. What do I not like about the pen? Well, really, there isn't a lot. The only thing I would say is the section for me is just a little bit on the narrow side here. Um, I do still find it very comfortable, though. So for me, it's not an uncomfortable pen. Um, the section is a little bit more longer, and uh, maybe some people may not like that. Uh, I think a lot of people will because a lot of people do complain about pens with shorter sections. So other than that, there is really nothing that I dislike about this pen. Uh, the pen uh, threads are really nice, really smooth um, for the cap and also for the section when you screw the body on. Uh, it really is a nice, nice pen. And I, I have to say I do love this material. Uh, and I do like diamond cast material as well. So that's probably why I like this. Uh, but I do like this rainbow oil slick effect going on here in this pen. I like the blues, the reds, the oranges, the yellows, uh, the purples. There's even some purple here as well. Uh, it really is a, a nice, nice color pen. So that's my review of the Butterknife Creations Bumpy Chameleon. And that's in a broad steel nib. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye-bye.